And if you need help, even if you need help realizing it was wrong, once you got that information, you fixed it. The deed was done. Indeed. Right? The deed is done. The act of the deed. The deed is done. The person has to pass down. But to cut everybody out of your life is to make it worse. The family that I have, the natural family that I have, has cut me out already. Many times. When I say many times, I think from many houses. Different people from different houses, right? So coming here and opening up to these people as my family. They are my family. I was connected by the blood, uh, for the, by the blood that ran, ran through my veins to those other people, right? But these people are connected by the blood that runs through the veins of Jesus Christ. That's the blood that came streaming down. The connection that I have to these people cannot be stopped, cannot be dropped, and it uh, supersedes and passes over color. Because most of them are white. Indeed. Most of them are white. Most of them are white. Most of them are white. I'm not just bugging y'all. Because it don't matter. I sat at the table, Christine, at Christina's house with um, her and her kids. And we were all talking. And I looked over to the table. I said, wow, they seem to all be on like our main side of the table. I know it's because of the fact they didn't want to hit my foot because it was broken. But I looked up. I, I, felt, I, was, I felt like I was the same as them. It never hit me that I was different. I'm laying out with these people. <laughs> and I looked at my hands, the backs of my hands. And they smiled at me and they enjoyed. We enjoyed our, uh, each other company and we played games. That's why she wanted to go, come over on the 6th for game night. But as we laughed, the smile that we ate, they across the on the outside of the table. I, lit, I, I, I sat my hands up and I looked at them. The backs of my hands. And it wasn't until I did that that I realized I don't look like these people. And they don't look like me. But we look exactly alike. We are twins. Me and Samuel, twins. Me and Javed, twins. Me and Sophia, twins. Me and Stephen, twins. Me and Christina, twins. Definitely twins. She is wow, the other side of me. It's crazy. Most of you don't know because you're quiet. Don't sleep on Christina. It's too crazy. Don't do it. Twin. I love it. It wasn't, it wasn't until I took a look at the backs of my hands. Somebody like me has to be there. In that church with all the people. That's different color. <laughs> that is a different color. I'm getting somewhere. Stop. Don't, don't, don't stay with me. But some people, some, somebody like me has to be there. And praise God in the front of the church. <laughs> like I do. Or I did every Sunday. Somebody like that has to be there. Because my blessing is, they look at me and they, and they feel the connection. My blessing is, I look at them and, I'm not, and it proves what Lois said was, is wrong. Nobody loved you as much as I do. Nobody loved you like your family does. Nobody will love you. Take it that day. Nobody gonna love you. She was right, but she said nobody will love you as much as your family does. Well, she said nobody will love you like I do. I said thank you. Oh, she said, nobody will love you. Uh, you treat your, she said, Jen, you treat your friends like your family and your family like your friends. She said, nobody will love you like we do, like we, uh, your family will. Nobody will love you. I'm going to tell you the same thing. Like your family does. Now lift your head up so that your chin get on this flagging God's ankles. Your chin is flagging God's ankles. And look your head down high and say, thank you, God, that nobody will love me like my family does. Why? 
We can look at it by the blood of Jesus Christ uh, to my real family. Jesus said my mother and brothers uh, are those that do the will of my father in heaven. Nobody loves me. I said, nobody has loved me enough. Don't sleep on Pastor David. He is fire. I picked the right person for dad. And truth be told, I know God picked him for me. Because I, I said, I want him to be there. When I'm doing something, I want him to be there. And if he can't be there, I, I, I said, I'm, I'm going to get home from here and I'm going to text him. I'm, I'm showing pictures. I still pictures. And I was going to show him pictures. And the text him and tell him how, how everything went. He got kids. I know Satan come. All the time, he's came to the ch- chamber of commerce. You already did that. Praise the Lord. Yeah, he did that. He did that. Yeah, he did that. He did that. <laughs> but I come to museum too. That's a super. I said, I took good pictures. I literally have them in my phone right now. And I only check my phone when I'm in the, those type of um, app of those type of uh, avenues, right? So this woman, right, was talking to me, sitting next to me, and she was in the, the show too. And I realized that, and she said, I want to see your piece. So she was going to see my piece. And I said, okay, I want to see yours too. And I'm going to see hers while she's looking at mine. But I passed by, I had to pass by my piece. And when I did, I got peace that surpasses all understanding with me. I thank God for him. He gave me a bam bam. He came to the museum. And he said, the punishment stays. It sticks. That's it. And he did not try to make me feel better about it. He gave me a bam bam. He didn't put a bam bam on the bam bam. <laughs> I ain't got no bam bam band aid. <laughs> he gave me a bam bam. He didn't put no band aid on it. Right? And he came to the museum. All of these things separately mean something different than they do together. Separately, give me a bam bam means ouch, right? Not putting a band aid on it means you really just don't care, right? <laughs> and then, and then it comes to the museum, it's just like, what? I'm confused now. Do you hate me or not? All of these things that has, has, has happened in the past week, that he's done in the past week, right, mean something different, singularly, than to they do together. When you combine everything, Jesus said, if I let to beat your will, let this cup pass from me. When you combine everything, he said, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. When you combine everything, the Bible says, but God commits his love. To warn me in that while I'm yet a sinner, Christ died for me. Now let's go to Mr. Job and get a testimony. Right? He said, though he slay me. When Job died, Job died, and God was doing it to him. Hallelujah. It ain't, it ain't the same thing with me. Job thought, I know. God said, what does this mean, Jamie? You going to be mad? What does this mean? I said, oh. I was already in the middle of repenting. I said, God, okay, can I just be closer to you now? Because obviously I'm missing something. Pastor David has warned us, warned me about missing Jesus. He warned me about not responding properly to the word and not having a tender heart. He has given me enough warning. He has done enough. So God, now, now it senses you. My response to that, I changed my response. I senses you. My response is I praise you. Thank you, God. And I thank you, God, for you and for Pastor David. Because that man gave me a band bam. <laughs> Wait, I was doing the orders. He came to the museum. Then he gave me a band bam. Then he did not try to make me feel better about it. But like he did not. I was like, wow, this hurts. This hurts. <laughs> this feels like pain. Cause okay, you gave me a bam bam, but it's a real, I'm telling you, I thought about it's like that is a real bad thing to do. They give you the bam bam now to so drill stuff a bam bam later. And here's the thing: they are trying to protect you, and they know exactly what they're doing. So the question is, do you believe right, that, that, that God chose that person to be your dad? That that's a dad for you? Do you believe that they have your best interests at heart? That's the sentence so funny. Because <laughs> all you just told me what happened. I didn't realize it. And why did they all get in the car? 
They said, no, 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 no. Why did Pastor David get in the car? He's a dad. And he knows what it's going to take. I'm going to go into this thing, right, and not know. Because I God knows my measurements, and he knows the punishment of the permanent things. You know, he has permanent things for me to do. So I have to go into this thing without knowing the measurement of time, right? Well, the punishment, how long is it going to take? I got to go into this thing if I go into jail, right, without knowing your sentence. I got to go in it blindfolded. Because going in and not knowing, going in and knowing what's going to happen. I says, I know, he, he knows me. I love that. I was like, I'm so mad at him a lot. <laughs> but he knows me. Like, he, I, I, I love him. I stood there. And I, kind of, I knew where they were going because I walked out the room and came back in. And I looked at both of them. I said, Pastor Tim, you, you, I like you. You are my friend and I like you. And I turned and I looked at Pastor David. I said, you know I love you more than anything. Him and his wife. That's a dad. How do you feel about your dad? I love you more than anything. When I say more than anything, more than my sin. More than me keeping this on me. More than me not ripping this Eucharist, this Eustis off of me. I love Pastor David more than my sin. Do you? God is a father. I put two, two together different. I said, I, love, I, said, I, I said, you know I love you more than anything. I said, yeah, I love God more than anything. They're two separate entities. They connect it, but they're two separate entities. So if I love Pastor David like that, I love God more. God spoke to me in Virginia summer. And I thought I was going to go on vacation. I was like, I can't go on vacation, God. I saw a door open, a room of the cabin, a door open, and there was mountains outside. It was so quiet and so peaceful. And nobody was there with me. I said, God, I can't afford that. And I can't go anywhere. I got church. He knew. I love Pastor David more than anything. It's so weird because he's the one that's giving me a bam bam. And I love him even more now. I love Miss Andrew even more now. Can't be easy to give bam bams. Can't be easy to have somebody that calls you a dad and give them a bam bam. You will see them and see their work in the museum. And then three days later, you're giving them a bam bam. Can't be easy. But when he said, I love you and I care about you. I think he meant it. I have to go get what I'm thinking. Like, it's like a, I love you and I care about you, right? You didn't try to make me feel better about it, because it's still sin. But I love you and I care about you, right? So after the museum, after the band band tells me one thing. Now he's always told me. That's always not me. He said it's never uh, fun to be, to 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 be disciplined. It's not fun. I think I, I, I assumed that he would not do this. Guardrails. I'm glad he did it. Now will I get myself together. Now will I spend time honestly in the word with God and praying. I said, I thought I, was, I thought I was doing better. I was so mad. And I might have been doing better. But the edict was, get out. And I didn't need anybody trying to make me feel better. If you get spanked on your hands, or spanked, you end up in tears. And I mean by a loving parent. Right? Because God told me, say, a good parent doesn't, a, a, a good parent doesn't give bam bams. I said, yeah, a good parent doesn't give bam bams. He said, yeah, that's true. 
A good parent knows when the baby's hungry and gives the baby a fish. Or shows the baby a pot of fish. But a good parent will not give a bam bam. He said, you know you like that bam bam from Jane? You know that bam bam was a, 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 that was a seed of a bam bam, right? And that seed went in the ground, and you put it in good ground, and it went in the ground, and it grew. So your bam bam is now full grown now, and now you've got to experience the pain of your bam bam. Because <laughs> you did it. You, you made a bam bam. You, you made it. Why you imagine Pastor David picked it up, took it, and gave it back to you? He gave you the bam bam that you created. I said, this has been going on for months. Just as months, I said, yes. Since you the inverts. Yes. I've been acting like a fool. I've been selfish. And the beauty of the whole thing is realizing that God still. I said, God, please still love me. Please still, please still love me. I messed with your pastors and I messed up so bad. Mess up everything. Please still love me. That's where I've been stuck the past couple of days. Not just like I went by a by, by past by the track record for this last week to know that he loves me. He's not my pastor anymore. He, I mean, right? No, he doesn't want to be my pastor right now. But he still cares about me. God will never leave me. Pastor David hasn't left me. And God will never leave me. But you're crying about the bam bam that you're getting. I had to bring this up before so I could explain what I said, what I said the way that I said it. You're crying about the bam bam that you got. Two options. Cry about it. Or let God make your bam bam your holy spot. I said, always run. I'm not running this time. I'm not running for the punishment of God. I showed Ashley the first picture that Pastor David, Pastor Tim, and Pastor David saw. The first things I drew. And Pastor Tim was like, Jamie, I think, I think you need to work on your blending and your shading. Two weeks later, my drawings don't look anything like that they have depth and they have life to them. Totally different person drawing now. Am I perfect? No. But I said, if God can take my drawing, and it, uh, now it's two weeks since that happened. Correction, a week. If God can take my drawing, 